Welcome to SSC Custom Designs. We're doing a segment on changing uh, your bandsaw blade. And uh, I have a lot of respect for Mr. Snowgrass that can do this so fast. I'm sure you've heard of him. If you, if you haven't, look him up. Uh, he does a really good job on uh, changing these blades. He makes it look so easy. Everything he does, he makes look easy. So there you go. Uh, we purchased this Jet bandsaw. I love it. It is amazing. First of all, it fits in my shop, which is in uh, in my basement here. Uh, so it, at any rate, we're going to go ahead and remove the blade that came with the unit. And we're going to replace it with this one here, which is, I believe, uh, three quarters inch. And uh, there's a lot to this. Uh, if I don't cover it all, forgive me. It's my first time. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in. So the very first tip I have for you is this blade. I ordered it uh, under recommendation from Jet. Because the very first time I ordered a blade, uh, I went to xyz.com and like 14 inch blade, Jet. Yep, they said they have it. Ordered it, brought it in, put it on, and the problem I had was that the blade would not stay on the wheel. It didn't matter what sort of adjustment that I uh, did here with the wheel. They're factory set. You're not supposed to have to touch those. Uh, we know how that goes, though. And I just couldn't get it to stay on. So I took it back off. I put the factory blade back on. No problem. So what does that tell you? These blades, when they're manufactured, they can be ever so, you know, just a little bigger or a little smaller. And uh, you can come back here and you can adjust this wheel here uh, up and down so that uh, the wheel will come up and down. And let, let me tell you, this is a nice suggestion. Nothing I did helped. So the very first tip is make sure that when you before you order your blades, uh, that you consult the manufacturer. In this case, it's Jet. This is a Jet 14 inch. I really really like this unit. It is amazing. I did a segment on it. You want to go ahead and look at that. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and see what it takes. Uh, to do this. I apologize for the uh, rocking of the the camera, which is my phone. And let's see what we can do here. All right. One of the first things you're going to want to do is unplug it. You can see I already did that. Unplug the machine. You do not want accidents. So go ahead and open up your top panel, your bottom panel. And uh, in the back of the jet is a handle. And it's really nice. You just lift up the handle. It takes all the tension off the wheel here. And so what that allows you to do is to immediately take the blade off. But before we can take the blade off, we have to remove the table. Take this piece off here. Um, we have two wheels under that hold the, the uh, table on and we have this pin and I've already removed it that that goes here that helps the table to stay flush so let's go ahead and remove the uh, table it's very heavy there we go let's set it over here And then go ahead and remove the blade. So I do recommend a pair of leather gloves, which I'm going to put on shortly. Because let me tell you, these blades can do some damage. So here's the old one being retired. Here's the new one. Uh, leather gloves. 
a great idea to put these on. This is very, very sharp. I'm going to go ahead and take the blade. I believe this is a three-quarter inch. And uh, I'd like to say that I could do this as fast as I've seen it online. Let me tell you, it just, it just takes practice. Just have to put the time in. And uh, have patience. Don't don't rush it. Okay. So let me go ahead. And remember uh, that the best place for the kerf of the blade is in the middle of the wheel. Okay. So we're gonna want to have the kerf is where your teeth uh, go to the back there in the middle, middle of the wheel, okay? So you do your best to go ahead and put it on. Now I've already uh, loosened the bearings, the back bearing, and uh, the, the, the top and the bottom one, it's all loose, so I uh, we're all set for that. And I also took the back bearing and I moved it back. Actually with a smaller and a thinner blade, this is forward more. So you have to make sure that you adjust these um, so that it's not hitting your teeth. You want it just behind your teeth. And the other uh, tip is that you want this blade here fairly just, not even touching the back wheel. But it's just so, 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 so like a hair away. <clears throat> you don't want to really want any space in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the lever in the back and I'm going to uh, lock it, which puts the tension back on the wheel and cross my fingers. That we're good. So what you're going to do is essentially take the wheel and turn it very carefully, nice and slow. Take it easy. You want to make sure you do a dry run like this. Last thing you want to do is turn the power on and that's not, the wheel's a little bit forward or a little bit backward or there's too much tension, something like this, and you're going to have a problem. It's going to pop off. You don't want that. Blades are expensive. And your safety is key. So I'm looking at this and uh, it's looking good. Okay, it's, uh, I haven't really made any adjustments here. I, I loosened all of the uh, bearings, um, the plus bearing inside, so that there's plenty of room. I also, I uh, don't know where it is, but I removed the side guard. Oh, here it is. Um, that goes here, and that's so that there's, Jet likes to keep you safe, so that this blade is going to be covered in its operation. So at any rate, I think I'm good here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the top mount wheel covers and uh, let's give her a go. And it's, it's a good idea, too, to hit start and stop. Get the wheel going, but, but don't let it go full bore. So you're going to go like this. First, you need the power on. I like to be super safe. Not only did I unplug it, I turned the power off to the strip. All right, we're going to go like this. And it looks like everything is just good. You have a little sight glass here. Let me go ahead and uh, give, show you a little close here what I'm doing. So you can see in here, again, we're going to start and stop. You can see that everything is just fine in there. Like I said, you take your time. Take your time. Make sure everything is set up the way it should be. 
Now we're going to turn it on. It's not going, the blade is not going uh, this way or this way. It's a good day. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's go ahead and shut this off. Let's go ahead and unplug it. And I turn my power off, like I said. I don't need any problems. So far, so good. Uh, so now what I have to do is go ahead and put the uh, table back on. Let's go ahead and do that. to do. Alright, we can take our wheels and we're going to put them under here and uh, tighten it down. Tighten it on the table. Uh, it's a good idea. What I'm doing now is I'm raising up the bearings and uh, it's a good idea now that you've done that. To get a square and make sure that the table is square. Okay, so at the moment it is not. So the table is not 90 degrees to the blade. So we have to adjust that. And uh, how we do that. Is there is a, a bolt under the table in the back here and that bolt just goes up and, and down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that bolt so that this will go um, flush oh that's all I really needed I tightened it down before because I, I had already done this I was very meticulous about this Okay, now I have 90 degrees. I'm going to tighten my wheels. Give you an idea, okay? So now you want to definitely make sure your table is, uh, and blade is 90 degrees from the table. And so let's have a look under here. These are the wheels that I put on. And that bolt I was talking about is here. So essentially that this bolt here and nut, you're just going to set it, lock it up when you are 90 degrees. But you know how it is when you're uh, using a tool over time, uh, it tends to, hopefully this is gonna be okay. Things tend to loosen up. All right, we're going to take our pin. Let's put this pin back. Okay, let's tap it in there. What that pin does is it makes sure that this table um, is flush. So that when you're sliding your stock across, it's not going to get caught. Okay, and we're going to put, put this back in. Very good. And uh, now the next thing we have to do is we have to adjust the bearings. So 
So that's really another segment. Um, essentially what you want need to do is uh, make sure that the bearings are going to be very close to your blade, but not touching your blade. Same with the thrust bearing in the back. Okay, there's adjustments. Each saw is different, but you can see that the thrust bearing is getting very close. Okay, but it, it, it's not touching. If it this is you've got it in too much, you're actually going to see the thrust bearing moving. You're, you don't you don't want to do that for a couple different reasons. One, you're going to wear it out. You're going to cause too much friction. Really, its sole purpose is to stop the blade from going back uh, and keep, helps keep it uh, on your wheel and keeps everything aligned. And what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust this. And we're going to make sure that, again, it's just sort of touching. Not touching, sorry. Very close to touching, but not touching. And you're going to do the same with this one. Okay. Um, and once you've got that one adjusted, you're going to do the one under here as well. Uh, way easier to do with the table off. But um, really the segment that I'm doing is changing changing out the blade and the lessons learned. What, what, the, the tension should be, you know, it shouldn't be moving in. It shouldn't be too tight. Okay. But uh, there you go. So we're going to be... Resawing, that's why I have such a thick three quarter inch uh, blade on here. Thanks for watching SNC Custom Designs. Appreciate your patience. And uh, the more you do this, the uh, easier it's going to get for you. And uh, God bless, and uh, let's keep it safe and fun. Move on with the projects.